Hi everyone, I'm Sasha um, and I thought I'd share with you how I do my Mary Grice top heading on a Roman blind. I know there are lots of instructions online and I think there are some files in the Cadmuff uh, uh, forum um, but I just thought I would show you how I do it. Okay, so firstly, um, what I've done is I have measured and cut a piece of buckram, um, which I've cut down to four centimetres width, um, and I also have 25 millimetre Velcro, because I like to use the wider Velcro. Um, I've cut that to the just shy of the finished width of the blind, um, and I'm just going to put that to one side ready for um, putting on later and then what you need to do is lay out your blind as you can see I've got quite a long blind here um, you lay out your blind on your table and what you need to do is uh, fold over the top and then measure the length of the blind using the tape measure which I'm going to try and do while videoing and I needed 177 um, so as you can see here I've got 177 so all I'm going to do now is with an iron is press this uh, which I've already pre-done okay when you've pressed the top hem over to the required length you just need to open that out and you've obviously got the line, the press line inside. Um, then if you grab your buckram and position that underneath and along the length of where that fold is. And I generally um, put it so it's pretty tricky to see, but it's just shy of where that fold line is, probably about two or three mils. Um, Okay, and when that's in place and you're happy with that, you just need to press that in place with an iron. Okay, buckram's in place where I want it. Now I just need to get the top edge of the blind, fold that over. And again, don't fold it too right up against that buckram. Try and leave about half about five mils half a centimeter a couple of millimeters there and then just press it all the way along okay so that's nice and pressed in place okay so now what you need to do is just fold that over the top just for now and then as you can see I've got my velcro here and I've used the infamous double-sided tape, DST, and I have placed that along the centre of the Velcro. Okay, peel back the, um, the tape and then place it at the top of your Roman blind. And again, I put it probably a couple of mils along the top all the way along the top and then when you're happy with that press it really firmly in place like so so it's all the way along the edge top edge of the blind so now what you need to do is you need to open out the top hem and then so open it out so that hem is open and then take it over to the machine and machine stitch that in place. So as you can see, I've got the Velcro attached to the top hem of the blind and this is actually the front, the main front part of the blind. Um, you just need to um, re stitch along the top and the bottom of the blind and just taking care that you don't catch the interlining lining underneath. Um, as you're coming up. Um, I normally use a three stitch length um, just because I don't think you need anything smaller than that and sometimes it can kind of um, can catch it a bit if you use anything smaller but it's totally up to you. Um, okay okay so I'm almost at the end of the first line of stitches on the top part of the velcro. Just thought I'd just mention here that just take care on this last bit here that you make sure it's nice and flat because sometimes it can get 
pulled back and it can fold over. So just make sure that when you're doing the final stitching that um, you just make sure that that's nice and um, nice and pressed down and then just secure it off and then repeat on the other side. Okay, so I've now sewn the Velcro onto the top hem of the blind and as you can see, this is the front of the blind and there's the top fold where my, my blind length needs to finish. And then I've now put my blind back on the table, made sure it's all nice and flat and, and straight and everything. Um, and all the fabrics are at the right length. Um, if you need to trim any of the um, interlining or lining, this is the best time to do it now. Um, and as you can see, that's how it's going to be finished when we've finished doing this top heading. So um, the next part is to attach the lining and the interlining to the buckram. So this is going to be a little bit tricky to film, um, but as you can see, I've started off by knotting off one edge and then all I've done is just a stitch going through both the lining and the interlining and then underneath the, just catching the buckram and then you can just go through the buckram here and then just carry on which will which will then attach the lining and the interlining to the top of the blind to stop it from dropping down so I'm just going to continue doing that and then I'll come back and show the next stage so as you can see I've attached stitched that interlining lining to the buckram um, so that it's all nice and secure in place. So next stage is um, folding that top edge over. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to slip stitch this close. So I slip stitch down the side and then all the way across and then back up the other side and then obviously secure it to close. So um, it's just a general slip stitch or I call it ladder stitch where you're kind of going in one side and then through the other and then back over again. Okay, all slip stitched, ladder stitched in place. Um, and that's basically it, all finished. So you can see that on the front of the blind, there is absolutely no stitch lines or anything to be shown. And I just think this is a much nicer finish to the blind. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. This is just my interpretation of Mary Grice's um, attaching the Velcro to the top of a Roman blind. Um, I'm looking at doing a tutorial next on using an eyelet machine to put the eyelets into a Roman blind. So um, I hope to do that soon and I will post it soon. Thanks for your time. Hope I've helped. Bye.